given you what you experienced in the Gobi, um, and I, I have to admit, I've been around the Gobi. I've been in Xinjiang, I've been in Shan, and I've been to Mongolia, uh, but somehow I missed the, the Gobi in the distance. The, the I, I was stressing uh, Jaipur. Sorry? I was just in Jaipur, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which I understand is very close to the desert. Yes, yeah. Um, though Mongolia, I have to admit, is at least southern Mongolia, I presume, is very similar, and I did experience that. But you mentioned about a lost generation. Uh, you obviously regained a lot of ground uh, after you after you got out. But for the most part, what what has been the what has been the fate of that lost generation in China? When the Cultural Revolution was over, uh, of course, the college education and schooling system resumed. But for our generation, some people were able to go to college if they didn't totally give up uh, during this long period of time, 10 years. But I would say 95% of people of my generation didn't ever receive any education. Therefore, they got at most uh, menial jobs, you know, as factory worker, and all of us, I mean, uh, all the people in my generation have by now retired, uh, because in China, the retirement age for blue collar workers uh, is fairly low. It's kind of 55 for women and 60 for, for men. So most people, in my generation, most of my peers uh, continue to live in poverty today. And their only hope is for their children. You know, their children, of course, now have the opportunity to go to school and go to college. 